Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jack from Tay Let's Plays, and I've got another Football Manager 2011 gameplay. Uh, today I am reviewing the month of December, so the very festive month of Christmas. Um, interesting month. It started off well, drawing two wins, and then just unfortunately um, going into the new year on the back of two losses, which is annoying. But I guess it leaves room for improvement, so let's go ahead and take a look at the goals straight away against Portsmouth. A one-all draw. As you can see, it was a fairly balanced game, and I think overall the draw probably was the uh, correct result. Um, not a great game for the neutrals. But Harava scored his first goal of the season, which is nice to see a new goal score. And as you can see there, the goals are very close to each other. And Football Manager is not responding. So, uh, here we go. <coughs> Free kick saved by Speroni. Plays it out down the left-hand side. Let's just get rid of these things. We don't need these. Good play down the left, then brings it central. Unfortunately, we lose possession, though. <coughs> Excuse me. They get the ball down the end of the field. Very frustrating to lose possession on the uh, halfway line. Uh, crucial mistake, and we had to, uh, and we were made to pay. Made to pay indeed. So Lawrence getting the goal for Portsmouth uh, to make it one nil. Um, I felt a way to Pompey a uh, draw isn't too bad. And then straight from the kickoff, we uh, definitely responded well. Another uh, ball down the left uh, through to Vaughan, and then Cadogan sort of cuts inside. Uh, uh, wasn't to be that cross but then the ball comes out to Horava and just makes a darting run into the penalty box and uh, slots in a very nice finish actually so uh, his first goal of the season was definitely a nice one and uh, should hope to see more from him uh, then we went to um, we had Bristol City at home and it was a TV match and uh, it was very nice because we won 3-0 uh, we sort of completely dominated in terms of possession, uh, we didn't have as much, but we definitely knew what to do when we did have possession. So it was a little while, um, well, not a little while, I meant to say, uh, getting the breakthrough with Cruz netting his third of the campaign, which is very nice to see. Got it from a penalty uh, spot kick. And um, and then obviously we got two goals either side of half time, which is always good times to score, actually. Uh, very nice indeed. So there is the uh, spot kick, bottom left corner, pretty standard, I guess. And uh, a great start. Uh, let's go ahead if I get rid of all of these. There we go. And then uh, we break from the corner with Dan's down the right hand side back to Undai and then to Cruz but we do actually have to win the ball back uh, which is good but it was looking quite uh, scary there that could have been a foul you never know on football manager and different referees but breaking down the left hand side with Cadogan and Vaughan and then ball through to Marrow and uh, Marrow's got himself his fourth goal of the season and he's scoring on consecutive months actually um, he definitely scored last month and I think he might have scored the month before as well but don't quote me on that you'll have to check back for yourself and uh, third goal pretty standard Dan's down the right hand side we've got Cruz down injured for a little while but not doesn't matter and then uh, Vaughan plays it back to Cadogan. I think those two really um, really do play well together. I've seen them a number of times in this match that they've linked up. And um, Cadogan just blasted it into the back of the net, past the keeper. Probably a sloppy goal uh, to concede from David James. Um, so here we go, Vaughan and Cadogan scored again. And this uh, just about managed to overthrow Ipswich, even though you might say we didn't deserve it. But, yeah. Uh, so as you can see, we took the lead then. Fortunately, um, they managed to get one back, but then we managed to take the lead again, and uh, this time, oh, don't want to save it, uh, this time we uh, managed to hold on to a lead, which is, doesn't happen very often, often when you're managing Crystal Palace, let me tell you. Uh, so let's just take a look at the goals here. Obviously they score first with Temas Priskin, uh, a very good player in my opinion, uh, one, of the, one of the better players, one of the best strikers in a uh, championship. And, uh, I mean, we took the lead first, sorry. Uh, nice. Uh, play by Vaughan, uh, typical strikers run, takes past the keeper as well and then it's just easy from there uh, so it's, it's good to see him score, that's his third of the season, which you know it really isn't enough if I'm honest uh, Conor Wickham with the long throw and then we just did not deal with that at all, very sloppy indeed, uh, definitely uh, annoying to concede one, maybe we could have walked away with a clean sheet, but I think if we didn't concede there and didn't get this goal then they will, their push will inevitably lead to a goal anyway so uh, 
a good win nonetheless three points is what we need and uh, as you can see here it came out to Klein and then Cadogan with a volley from just inside the box it was a great goal and uh, very pleased to see him getting on the score sheet so let's go ahead and uh, go out then we're playing Swansea and Fabian Brandy gets his first goal for the club and uh, he's only made two appearances and he came on as a late sub and uh, he made the difference but wait, <laughs> what am I saying he didn't. He couldn't make uh, that much of a difference. Just a consolation goal. Cut. He made the difference. No, he didn't. We lost the game. Uh, but as you can see by the stats down the bottom, we uh, we definitely deserve to uh, lose this game. Not a good performance, but got to give credit to Swansea. They are a very good side, and uh, of course they are because they managed to get promoted uh, this season in real life. So uh, should be an interesting one. I'm not too sure on their chances of staying up. But they managed to take the lead there with a, a good strike. Uh, can't take away from the, the strike there. Um, just need to f sort out and iron out a few kinks in the defence. Um, and then we lose possession in our own half, I believe. Uh, I don't know, just a pointless ball forward. I mean, it really was lacklustre. And, um, yeah, it's just easy from there. Swansea just pass it around. Really not much pressure, not tight enough there, not closing down. Cottrell's allowed to do whatever he wants, even there. I mean, I expect more from Daniel Ayala, uh, Liverpool star in the making he's meant to be. Uh, he just didn't know how to deal with a, a fairly straightforward threat there. And uh, I believe the keeper could have done better as well. We managed to score from a set piece, which is nice. So Ayala made a... I mean, Brandy, it's just Ayala's yellow name tag came up there. And... Uh, Fending all over the place. But yeah, that was his first goal uh, for Chris Pass. So one goal and two appearances. Hopefully we'll see a little bit more from him in the uh, future. So uh, let's just go back to that. And uh, then we lost 2-0 to Sheffield United. I'm not going to show the goals because, in my opinion, uh, there's no point showing the goals if we didn't actually get any ourselves. Uh, so here's the board confidence update. Capture of Daniel Ayala, um, who the fans believe to be an extremely good player, has been a particular pleasing um, side disappointed with the Fabian Brandy signing. Uh, I don't know. A loss of 500,000 this month, uh, which I don't think is too bad. And by the way, I um, I managed to become affiliates uh, with Manchester United. So what that means is they give us 100 grand every year. And there's also a friendly, which will... Uh, bring in you know quite a bit of money in uh, ticket sales uh, so every year we'll have friendly and also Man United will send their players to us on loan uh, hopefully for a much better deal than otherwise which is very good um, so let's look at the awards uh, we've also got the year awards so Messi wins the golden ball uh, congratulations also the player of the year um, world player of the year that was uh, Rooney claims striker of the year Julio Cesar, goalkeeper of the year, and Messi, midfielder of the year. So Messi really taking all the awards. Uh, Ashley Cole getting defender of the year, which is definitely the most surprising out of all these awards. And then let's go back to our uh, domestic awards. Uh, so Norwich player, Scoops player of the month, and then Joe Manuel Thomas on loan from Arsenal with Cardiff and Hulhan just behind him. Um, so yes, and young player of the year, Swansea's fullback, Neil Taylor. Uh, and also J. Manuel Thomas mentioned in there, and James Chester. Goal of the month was Nicky Bailey from Middlesbrough, and then Michael Tavares from Middlesbrough again, and then Noel Hunt. And uh, Swansea manager wins the accolade with uh, wins uh, all across the board, screwing, except for the game against Ipswich, which uh, we didn't. Oh, I can't remember. My memory is like a sieve, guys. Uh, I'm trying to remember all uh, my stuff for my revision, so uh, don't blame me. And unfortunately, they got a win against us. So uh, let's just take a look at the league table. And uh, yeah, so there we go. Sitting in 15th at the moment. Not too bad, not too bad. We've actually lost not many games when you look at the people around us, but we've also managed to draw quite a lot. Goal difference is zero, so we're sitting in the, the middle point, but with a few anomalies here and there. Uh, so, yeah, it's looking very comfortable. I think we're definitely going to stay up. I mean, we're 10 points ahead right now going into the new year. So let's just take a look at the upcoming fixtures for next month, the month of January. And it'll also be the transfer window. So I'd like to ask all you guys if you've got any suggestions on who I should sign. Um, bear in mind, I do not have a transfer budget. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking for really cheap pickings. Um, so if you've got any ideas, please leave a comment. And uh, if you want to leave a comment of anything else, that would be warmly obliged. And... Um, 
warmly welcomed and uh, also a rating as it helps my channel grow and others find my videos which is awesome. So uh, yeah, we've got Sunderland in the FA Cup third round away to Sunderland so that's a really crucial game. Um, commentary at home to start off the new year, then Hull away, uh, Scunthorpe and Leeds. So a mixed bunch, a mixed bunch. Hopefully we can uh, get back and bounce back against commentary on these two losses so uh, i'd like to thank you very much for watching and uh, i'll go play the next month ready to do another commentary later for you guys thank you very much peace